So hey guys, I'm excited about this one right here for you. This item here is a game changer, I feel like. You guys might have heard about it. It's called Rim Guard. And what are these? Well, in my opinion, it's probably the best way to prevent wheel theft. They're made in Sweden. Check these things out. Now they have these in silver. I chose black because, you know, the black wheels and then I'm probably going to black them out again. Um, they have them for a ton of OEM wheels. They won't fit aftermarket, but they fit OEM wheels. Um, so just check their description on their website to pick you up a set. But look at these things, man. They go over and they cover all the lug nuts and they have a big lock in the middle. Really nice. This doesn't do it justice, the quality of these things. And here you get two keys to go with each one. Really high quality stuff, guys. Um, they retail for $2.99. So yeah, it's expensive. But if you figure you spend probably 50, 60 bucks on a um, set of wheel locks, that absolutely do nothing to stop a thief. Um, this will save you thousands for a wheel. And then all the damage someone caused when they put it on bricks or put it on the ground. So... Um, very easy installation too. I'll show you guys how to do it. But really awesome. I researched this for a while and it's a great company. Definitely check them out. If you guys are real serious and you have higher crime in your area, I would highly recommend this. They even give you putty right here. This will make removing the center caps um, very easy. I always struggled with removing the center cap, but this stuff does the job. Really smart to include that too. So you don't have to take your will off to install these. Should take you about four to five minutes to do each wheel. Very simple. They give you everything you need in this kit as well. And they're deemed unbreakable. So um, I can tell you just by looking at them to put them on, to try to get access to the wheel, the lug nuts, it would ca create so much time for someone trying to steal them and noise trying to use a hammer and smash these things to pieces. It would A, damage the wheels. So they wouldn't get really any money for them. And it would cause a lot of noise. They can't just take a breaker bar and break them. So I'm really excited about this. I've seen a lot of you guys go through this where you come out and someone steals your wheels. And then they damage your car in the process. You know, it's probably a horrible feeling, I'm sure. So this kit is definitely for you. Anyone that wants to protect their wheels, I would highly recommend buying these. You know, you have to figure how much your... Um, your deductibles on your insurance, if you're going to use that, most people it's 500. Well, this is 300 bucks. And nobody will want to mess with your wheels with this thing on. Okay? And it looks really nice too. It looks stock when you put them on. Okay? Easy lock in the middle here. Really nice. Okay? So when I saw this product, I was definitely thinking I had to get it out to you guys so you guys could learn about this product because it's a big help. I mean, it'll really help safeguard your ride. Like I said, I can't say enough good things about it too. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to install it in your car. It's really quick, okay? So let's get right to it. Okay guys, so pretty basic here. Okay, we got, we got the whole pack here, everything you need. You don't need any other wrenches. Everything you need is in this kit. Okay, they give you instructions with it. They have a website that has a YouTube video as well. So the first thing you gotta do is take that center cap off. I always thought it was a hard thing to do, but with this putty, it's easy. Very easy. And it's reusable too, so there's not a ton in here, but you put some on the, the um, center cap, you flatten it out there, and then you take like a cup and you sandwich it to the center cap. Push it down really hard. Okay, I'll show you what I did here. So this is what you do. You see how it sticks to the cup? You just take a cup, you put a little bit on the, the center cap, put the cup on the, um, the center cap, and then pull really fast. It's the quick motion that's gonna pop it. You just pull really fast and it pops it right off. I was amazed. I was um, amazed how fast it came off. No having to take your wheel off or damage it with a screwdriver. It's all you do and you pull it and it comes right off. So really cool stuff. It's really strong putty. I don't know if you can use any putty, but um, what they give you, that's what, what you use. And just save that aside, and then this is enough to do all the other wheels too. So, okay? So that's step one. Now you have your center cap off, okay? Step two, you got to take 
this off the center cap, okay? And you have this piece here. All you do is you put it in here and you keep unscrewing it. And that whole mechanism will drop off the back. Okay, there you go. There's the locking ring, what you need. Very simple. It's a simple design. It really is. Okay, you see here how it opens up. Okay, you're going to have to open it like this. Okay, and you fit that, the bigger side right there, you fit that in first. Okay, you fit it in there and you close the ring on it. Just like that. Okay. Let's see if I can show you here. And they tell you here, you should line up one of the notches on it with one of the lug nuts. Just helps lining everything up. Okay. So I'll show you here what you can do. So see this, you can spin it. And then it locks in place like that. That's what prevents it from turning and sliding until you get the whole thing put together. So it doesn't matter which lug nut you're lining up with. It just helps when you put everything together. It's not crucial. You'll notice this only goes in one way. The locking ring, when you try, it won't go in the other way. The ears won't tuck under. So that's all you do, guys, with that. Okay? So you got that in place. And you aligned it right. Okay? And it's got to have movement on it. Don't worry about that. This is just setting it up. This is kind of the base. So the locking mechanism can attach to. Okay? So now what you're going to do, you're going to take this device. Okay? And it's got to go over. And even see, I have the locking lug here. It's nice because this even fits over the top of it. So it's kind of like double here. If a thief ever um, breaks through this, there's still a locking lug nut. Now, some lug nuts, depends what kind of car you have. They have this for Tesla. They have a ton of vehicles. It might not fit a locking lug. So just um, FYI, if you have a locking lug and it doesn't fit, you have to go back to the standard lug for that, okay? So you just check it. You'll know if it slides over the top of it. Uh, the Honda locking lugs are really slim, so I'm happy that this will fit. I don't have to mess with that and retorque the, the lug or anything. Okay, so you're going to take this now and you see just the same way you took it off, it's kind of reversing the process. So you, you set it up and you want that notch on the top. If you see there's a notch on that, a little cutout on that ring, you want that toward the top. Okay? Now you just keep tightening it. And there's no torquing on here. So all you're going to do is keep tightening it, hand tighten it so you can't get any more. You feel how that moves, keep tightening it. And you kind of want to hold that union right there centered up okay because it does have a little play so you can tighten it to one side just kind of center it up there over the lugs just keep tightening it down okay it should be pretty snug by now then you're going to take a little allen key they give you right here like i said everything's included you don't need to go find anything of the right size okay and now you're going to tighten this hand tight now you don't need to go crazy and crank this thing down there um, but you want to snug it. You want to, once it gets where you can't turn anymore, give it one little less tug on it. Okay, and that's all you want to, because all this is doing is tightening everything together on it. Okay, so tighten that really good. It's tight. Okay, I'll give it one last snug here. So nothing crazy. They say the maximum torque they even want on it is 50. So that's not much. So, sorry for the picture of my elbow. Okay, nice and snug. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. And as you guys see, it flows. And I, like I said, they have this in silver too. So if you have like the EX 17-inch wheels or it's 18-inch wheels, whatever that comes with, you can order the silver color. But I like the black, especially since I'm planning on blacking these wheels out again. Um, it just flows. Okay, so if you could see there, you kind of see how it's all centered up. If you see it's over one side too much, loosen it up, kind of hold it centered as you tighten it. And then as it clamps down, then it'll be good. You know, that's the only thing you have to do. Okay? So that's how it's going to look. And now you just need to put the lock inside. There's the lock. You get four locks, of course. And you just take the key. You want to make sure it's unlocked. Okay? So you unlock it. It'll slide right in. And those teeth will slide right in. Then you spin it again to lock it to the red and the key will come right out it's done simple as that doesn't go anywhere now you take your center cap see here the key open comes out great design like i said it's very simple 
It's what a lot of cars are doing now too, if you notice. You can't see any lug nuts on their wheels. There's just a center cap. It's the same type of design. Someone said that the Audi is doing this to their wheels. So it, it's a, definitely a deterrent because you have to access the lug nuts to try to get the wheel off. So again, the lock has to go in. The biggest thing I can tell you is make sure it's locked. Put it down, it's done. Very simple and the keys are, nice keys are thick, okay? Perfect. Okay, now take your center cap that you took off, center it up here, smash it in. Try to even it out so you don't break an ear on it. Done. That's insulation. Like I said, without doing this video, probably less than five minutes that you can do it. That's even taking the center cap off, but check that out, guys. By glancing at it, you can't even tell. The only thing you can notice is the Honda emblem or the center cap is pushed out a little bit. It's on top of the Union, that's it. But it looks really nice. And like I said, the biggest thing with this kit is it'll save you from getting your wheels stolen. No thief is going to want to go through the trouble trying to hammer this off and break it and then still have to get the lug nuts off after that. You know, the material it's made out of is going to make it nearly impossible to break. Okay, that's why I was so fond of this. All the other lug nuts out there, as you guys seen, they just slow them down slightly. So nothing major. So this is great. Okay, and so you have these on. All you're going to do is put the a screwdriver in there and pop it. There's a, that little um, crack or the little opening. That's why you put it on the top so you can get a screwdriver and pop that center cap off easy. Take your key off. Take the lock cylinder out. So this is what you're going to have to do if you want to, like when you go rotate your tires or change it to a flat. So it's an easy process. Now you're just going to crank this down. Once you break it loose, good. Now you don't need that wrench. Now just take the thing out. Pretty basic. Like I said, it's going to add a few more, a um, little bit of time if you rotate your tires. Uh, my advice, if you go to the dealer and get them rotated, take these off first. You don't want to messing them up or dropping them and scratching them to pieces. I would just take them off and put it back as stock um, when you do it. Just because they cost so much, you don't want them to get damaged. You see, there's the lug nuts, perfect, nothing scratched. And once you have it center, when you tighten it, it's not hitting the wheel, actually. So it's not going to scar it to pieces. That's all you do, guys. That's how it'll look. That's how what I'm going to do when I take it to the dealer to get them rotated. I'll take them out, put them back in the box, and then just take it. You know, I, ro I don't drive a whole lot, so I don't rotate them as often as some people. Um, some, a lot of people rotate them themselves. I just take it in. Um, awesome, though. Awesome stuff, guys. My word of advice they tell you is always keep a key with you and then keep one at home in a safe spot. Okay, guys? So I hope that helps you guys out. And definitely check out RimGuard. The link will be in the description. Pick up a set and save your guys a lot of headache down the road and, and save your car as well. So hope everyone's doing good. I appreciate the support I'm getting and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.